So I'm here with Luke Winslow. He's a member of the Baseball Northwest team here at the Arizona Senior Fall Classic. And, and Luke, first thing, you know, you're down here, you're playing in front of a lot of coaches, a lot of scouts. What things are you hoping to demonstrate uh, as they're watching and as you're on the field? Uh, I think the biggest thing is, like, you know, your body language. You know, you want to show a coach that you're willing to, you know, go through ups and downs but keep the same, you know, attitude, a uh, good attitude. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, I'm just trying to, like, be active, be supportive to my teammates, and then, you know, things don't go my way. I just want to be, like, to bounce back, whether it's on defense or in the dugout, rooting on players. Yeah. Uh- Obviously, you know, you have to have talent to be down here on this team. So that's a good thing because a lot of coaches, you know, they want to see if guys are good teammates first, first and foremost. And, you know, as you're, you're talking with schools and looking at things, what things are you trying to consider and what things are you hoping to see in a school uh, that is recruiting you? Uh, I want to see a, you know, a school that's willing to develop me. Um, you know, that's what everyone wants to, you know, continue playing baseball to become the, you know, the best they can be. And, and But, again, like I want to choose a school that's going to, um, you know, have my academics, whether that's, you know, business or nursing or whatever it is, you know. So I look with, like, both things, whether it's academics or, you know, athletics. But I think if it was talking about baseball, it would be development-wise. Mm-hmm. That's what I look for, for sure. And I think that's what my brother looks for, too. Awesome, man. You mentioned your brother, and you uh, your brother plays the same age as you. No? You guys are twins, are you? Am I correct? Sure. Okay, so what's it like to have... A brother to have a teammate from you know your little kids to now. What's it like to see each other grow and develop, you know, and play? Well, I think um, you know. First of all, to answer your question, it's awesome. And uh, you know, since we've played together for so long, it's we've we've become very competitive against each other. Whether it's you know little things or to to just on the baseball field. So you know, it's made me um, very competitive, and I've just seen my brother you know grow into such a player that he is now and you know i look up to him in many ways and he looks up to me in many ways and so that's that's the thing that we push each other and you know i'm i'm truly happy of where he's where he's at right now and the and the path that he's you know taken to get to this place and then you know obviously you have your brother pushing you but is there someone else in your life who has pushed you motivated you from um to keep you going because you know obviously you can be good but it really takes that person behind you to keep you going who's who's that who's been helping you and even your brother i think it's you know um my grandma um and my parents too everyone in my family is very supportive you know they back up whatever uh it is that i truly love but my grandma you know she's been through a lot and you know she's always keeping a smile on her face and you know it's something that I want to take into life, and that's why I really look look up, look up to her. Sorry, um, you know, and I love her dearly. And you know, my dad he always comes to my games, and my mom is very supportive. And so without them, you know, I wouldn't know where I'd be right now. But it's truly awesome to have a, a family that you know backs you up. Absolutely. And then, you know, going into your senior year, you know, you want to obviously improve and work on things. What are things you're hoping to focus on and, and really develop in your game as you get ready for your senior year and, and even for going on to college? So, you know, lately I've, uh, you know, I've caught. Um, so, you know, obviously I want to get better as a catcher, but um, I've always been very athletic. I've played multiple sports in high school, and so um, I want a coach that can, you know, put me in a spot, and I, I'll tell him I'll work hard there. and. You know, if it gets me a spot in the lineup, that's where it is. And I, I know that, like like I said earlier, I'm very competitive. So I'll find a way to get into the lineup. And, you know, if he says, okay, throw you out first, I'll work my butt off to be the best first baseman I can be. Awesome. And the last question I have for you, you know, down at the ball field, you always see kids around, you know, playing. What advice would you have for kids who are hoping to play at a higher level or just to, to compete the best they can be? Uh, you know, I think... Uh, you know, keeping a good attitude, that's always huge. Um, starting early. I, you know, I've always worked out with my dad at a young age, but I just started doing all these showcases, and I started doing the Northwest thing, you know, last year. So I feel like I was a little late to it, but, you know, um, I feel like I got on track now. But if I were to give advice, I'd say start early and keep that great attitude because, you know, this game is truly fun. And without it, you know, I don't know what I would, what kind of person I would be. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.